Hi, my name is Dr. Kyle Hagel from Affinity Medical Group in New Hope, Minnesota. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, different injuries that can happen in car accidents. What people don't understand and don't realize is even though there's not a broken bone or any internal injuries in the head or the abdomen, there can still be significant injuries to the ligaments, the muscles, the discs, and the nerves. Um, cars weigh a lot. I know it sounds funny, but our, our bodies are soft and cars are very heavy. And even when they're moving at slower speeds of 5 and 10 miles an hour, uh, they, there's a lot of force that goes into our bodies. And, uh, you know, obviously at 50 miles an hour there's more force, so our bodies have a greater chance of injury. Uh, things like the seatbelt and the airbag are great because they, they save lives. Um, but once serious injury or even death has been prevented, a lot of people don't realize there's other injuries to things like the shoulders, the neck, the wrists, those sorts of things. One very commonly uh, common thing that I correlate in auto accidents is typically if a patient is hit on the right side, they typically have more damage to the right side of their spine, maybe the shoulder. They have more pain. They have more muscle spasms. They have more swelling. We can actually correlate these things when we do our examination. Uh, very specifically, the lower back and the pelvis often get injured if they have their, let's say, their right foot on the brake because the force gets transmitted all the way up the leg and back uh, into the pelvis. So a lot of people don't realize uh, very specifically um, the way that car accidents can injure them. If somebody is hit on their driver's side door, like in a T-bone situation, typically there's a, a lot of injury potential to the right shoulder, the right hip, and those sorts of things. So uh, typically if the patient was hit on the left, they'll have more pain on the left and more injury on the left. Um, and those injuries should be properly evaluated and properly treated by somebody who's familiar with physical medicine, who's familiar with treating disc problems and muscle problems. Uh, just giving somebody muscle relaxers or anti-inflammatories or any other prescription following an accident in most cases is not enough. Uh, physical treatment should be provided because that will help the tissues heal properly um, and the medication may be a part of the treatment plan, um, but it should not be the only thing. Feel free to give our office a call and we can set up a free consultation with you to see how we can help you. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you soon.